Hi, this is Hardball Retro. Today's game is Atlantis for the Atari 2600. This one was published in 1982 by Magic. Uh, was released for the 2600 and then ported to the Intellivision, also in 82. And in 1983, that was ported to the VIC-20, um, Atari 8-bit computers, and the Odyssey 2. Uh, credits uh, programming by Dennis Kobel. Uh, so Dennis um, actually programmed, let me bring this up here, um, so for some of the early uh, Atari video games, uh, Sprint 2, uh, actually Sprint 1, Sprint 2, Domino's Avalanche, which we discussed. Uh, I played Kaboom earlier today in uh, Kaboom is pretty much a clone of Avalanche, um, so uh, those are some of his arcade games. Then for a Magic, he did Trick Shot, Atlantis, and uh, Solar Storm, and Shooting Gallery. Uh, he went on to design uh, some of the PGA Tour golf games, um, hard driving, uh, race driving. Also, a couple other arcade games uh, that he designed, mini golf, and so anyway, a pretty prolific career for Dennis. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with Atlantis. So basically, you've got the um, uh, missiles that you can fire from the center of the screen, or uh, by pressing the uh, left and right. Uh, plus the fire button, you can shoot from the side cannons there, and your job is to protect Atlantis on the bottom of the screen from uh, the ships that are firing at the top. Um, when the ships get down to the, uh, I would say, like the fourth row on the screen, they can fire a laser, which destroys, uh, uh, basically you don't want to get them, uh, don't want to allow them to get to that level, so... Let's go ahead and get started here. Guys cruising by, if you hit it, it destroys every other enemy on the screen. start coming by fast and furious here. Uh-oh, no center cannon. This is tough. game over, 17,300. Let's try again. <coughs> I just remember seeing this game in, in 82 and thinking how much more colorful it was compared to the other Atari games in that you know, 
or, or prior to that, I guess. better than last round. Don't want to jinx it though. Whoa. That thing was really flying. Yikes.
<laughs> that one's flying. Thanks. Six eight hundred. Well, that might be my new high score. So anyway, uh, this is one of my. I would say this is in my top ten for Atari twenty six hundred, and I, I really like the Intellivision one as well. It's got some other features, so it's not a direct port. Um, so check that one out. I'll be doing a video for that one at some point as well. Um, I mean, a lot of the uh, Magic games were, uh, you know. Some of, the, some of the top games on the 2600, so uh, just as a general rule, um, there aren't, aren't too many duds in their library. So uh, for now, um, just keep on retro gaming. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon.